Gotta go away in the old League of Lagoons so people won't try to invite me to games. Tends to help. Oh, I guess I need to start up the giveaway too. Nah. You ban half the people from entering it anyway, so it doesn't matter. You're, you're not right. half the people. <laughs> yeah. You're half a person, HP Fox. You're not even a person, you're a fucking fox. I don't hear it. What's going on, everybody? We are uh, we are just starting up. We're gonna sit here and get all logged in and all that good shit, and uh, we will be starting up here in just a moment. Thank you guys for hanging out, coming in and watching me try to kill people, or you know, watching them survive. I guess that's right. I'm talking shit about you guys, and you guys can't hear it. Rude. <laughs> the consummate professional over here. That's right. I'm, uh, I'm gonna go grab something to drink real quick, and then I will uh, be back and we will get started if you guys are ready. Uh, have you worked with either of them for the neat macros that we got together? I have not. Yes. Terrible. Um, yeah. If you guys want macros, Fulk can give them to you. <laughs> Fuck it. No, it's good. Oh. <laughs> okay, I gotta figure out if they work in here. Uh, the uh, HB and Magpie, click the gear in the upper right hand corner uh, next to the roll 20 chat thing and you'll see the macros area in there yeah, I see. Um, you can add a macro in there and let me get you the template for it and hopefully this will work I don't remember if it'll work in here or not, let's find it Okay, uh, you're gonna add a new macro, uh, and this will be a crit macro. The big thing on that is gonna be where it says show us token action. You do not want that check. Gotcha. Okay, now take what I put in there, in the chat in here, and copy paste it into the macro and then go ahead and just you know save and apply whatever we're uh, doing a little bit of setup real quick I promise and then start in just on moment. your macros area you'll see the check mark next to I'm drinking more crit lemonade or whatever you named it and it says in check mark the strawberry lemonade? <laughs> okay uh, then it appeared in the uh, bottom left yes uh, by the way, when you press that, go back to the crit macro now. Uh, you'll see where it says character name in there. It'll be like the third set. Uh, go ahead and set that up for your character, and then for what the emote is down underneath it, have it be whatever you want to say. Those are just ones that I've put together. Because when you click it, mine looks like this for crit. I see. Yeah, but so if you have it with what my macro says, when you roll it, you're going to be saying that Gaius does this stuff. Which is okay if you really want to give him credit for it. Yeah, I mean, that's fantastic. So once you've got once you've got Mike cutting out, rip full. Well, almost. You can do it. Am I the only one not hearing him? I hear him. I hear him. So weird. Is it just him that doesn't hear me though? I can hear you. I just heard you now, but I didn't hear you for a long time before that. Weird. 
<laughs> okay, uh, so once you've gotten that done, go ahead and save the changes and click your crit button to make sure that it works right. I'm just trying to make sure I'm doing this right because, like, that was Greek to me. <laughs> okay, uh, do you have a crit button in the lower left hand corner of your screen now? This little button says crit on it. And then we heard our echo. It's crazy. I'm not seeing one that actually says crit, no. I okay, uh. It right. Okay, upper right hand corner. Yeah. Copy the paste of the stuff for the macro, correct? Yes, it did. Okay, you saved the changes on it, right? Mm hmm. And, and it's showing okay. in this thing that it says crit, but I don't see now, it anywhere else on the screen. The check mark box next to it, did you check mark that for it to be in bar? Show macro quick bar, yeah. And. Okay, under the macros. No, above that, sorry where you see now that there's a macro called crit. Uh-huh. Uh, next to it, it should say in bar. Oh, do I need do to you... check that? Yes. Ha-ha! Yeah, check... Okay, yes. so now that you've got that going, go ahead and click it to make sure that it worked. Okay, now see how it's given my name and the text for it? Go yeah. back into that macro. And see the third grouping where it says character name. Okay. You can change your character name there. And then underneath it where it says emote, you can change what the emote is. <laughs> Sweet. There's one other thing I need you guys to change too. Uh, in your settings, check mark the box for enable 3D dice and automatically roll 3D dice. Yeah, we were headed there. On the next. I don't think you were. I don't think you knew where you were driving that bus. Oh, let's let's find out. Yeah. Apparently, uh, I didn't. you had no idea where that bus was going. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna give you a couple more here. You're gonna have to do the same thing for it that you just did. This one is for botching. Uh, this one is for health pots. It's, oh, just, oh, it's mm -hmm. nice to have a clickable thing for. And you're gonna do the same thing. Just add a new macro, oh, oh. name it, whatever you want. <laughs> Go ahead and say hi to everybody. And then copy paste <laughs> that stuff into it. Uh, same thing with character name mm -hmm. Gaius and that. You know, rename it to your people. What do you mean, your people? You heard. I said it. <laughs> Say it again. You people. Hey. What do you mean by you people? And then, like, my botch one looks like this. I don't see you. To give you an idea of what it should look like. While we're getting this set up, you guys, um, we do have a giveaway going on. If you guys want details on that, hit exclamation point giveaway. Uh, that will be running until the 30th, and we will draw a final winner that night uh, for the giveaway. So if you guys want a chance to get in on that, check that out. Um, this group is a bunch of lobies, so they're level one. I uh, have almost killed them on several occasions. Nice. It's pretty entertaining. So, should be fun. Okay, gonna testify. Hang on. Yep. The big thing is if you have the buttons on the corner, That's they the should be doing it. Okay, uh, go into your settings again. Same thing, area where the macros were. Scroll down, and you see the check mark boxes of enable 3D dice and automatically roll 3D dice? Yeah. 
Yeah, check both of those. <laughs> Sweet. And then give your button a click. With the dice. And for you guys sitting here tolerating listening to us do some setup that we should have there done beforehand, let me throw you out a little bit and of, of XP. Button. Just, you know. Perfect. And then that health pot button will do this for you. There it is. That is swanky as hell. Now, there are two more that we have. Oh, and yeah. these were going to do everything the same except you want to check mark them as token actions in the Mac. Just that check mark at the bottom. Okay. That one is for initiative. And th again, this will be one that you change a little bit of text yet. This one will roll uh, for perception. Oh yeah, that's right. This one has the weird face thing, so let me redo that. I forgot that it faces in here, and it's not great. Let's see, where's the other face? Okay, I think this is going to be the best way that I can do this. For so putting with the setup real quick. And the delay in gameplay. Okay. That second one that I posted that doesn't have the faces in them. You see where it says uh, dot perception and dot searches? Get rid of the dots? Yeah. Yes. Delete the two dots and it will just... Okay, because this looks a lot similar to like um, I do a lot of CSS cutting for websites, so yeah, this is this is okay. pretty easy for me to understand. Yeah, and then same thing, character name and your emote, have them be whatever you want them to be. Rock on. And, and both of those you're going to do is show as token action, and not as down on your emote bar at the bottom. You can if you want them. But what those will do is those will only show up when you have your token selected. And they will be in the upper left hand corner. Also, I am terrible at running those dungeons. Don't do it. It's a trap. I just want your tasty XP. You guys about done set up? Almost. Uh, so this last one is perception, right? Yes. Yeah. And that because we do a lot of perception checks, I mean, it's just the most popular one to be used. Instead of having to hunt down that little button on your character sheet all the time, you'll just be able to hit that button and it'll do a perception check for you. I just got real tired of having to hunt that button down on this, on these, these tiny little shit buttons. I'm like, you know what? I just, I don't want to do that. Weird, your mic cut out again. Let me, uh, I'm gonna restart Discord. Okay, back. Okay, the one right before it, the... That was weird. Sorry, guys. Discord's being funky. And, uh... Nobody can hear me. And... Let me check what I'm What was the plus two that they were getting on the initiative? Uh, your dex modifier. Okay. I bet that picture that he had on him was a But that will do your initiative checks. Apparently I'm really loud. I don't know why. Oh, yeah, really loud. Loud. Is that a little bit better? No. Weird. I'm also yeah, I'm, I see that, and I don't know why. I'm working on it. I figured I'd point out that apparently that woke chat up. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm all set. Yeah, that should be all of it. Is. These are just nice things to have. 
Okay, hopefully that should be a little bit better. Let me know, guys. Can you guys hear me alright? Yeah, here you find yep. Yeah. Alright, hopefully you guys in the stream, that should be a little bit better on your ears. My levels aren't peaking anymore, so I apologize for that. Apparently when I restart Discord, it does something funky to my levels. So. The other way. <laughs> let me know if things are better. Alright, you guys about ready to start up? Yeah. Yes. Yes. And then your initiative your initiative tracker macro. It looks like it has a, a space and tracker. I don't know if it should have that or not. Uh initiative tracker should check. have the space. Should be like here, I'll type it up. And you said that two in the initiative is our dex modifier, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because my initiative doesn't have a button. And if that button doesn't work, well, we just know. use the initiative button on the character sheet because it's not stuck nested in with a bunch of other buttons. It was just something that we put together kind of as a test thing and then went from there. So somebody's gonna have to remind me where you guys were last time. Where uh, did you finish giant up? Giant frog. I force fed HB a health pot because apparently he decided to get whooped up on it by some basilisk. Uh, CC much had the same result after deciding that she wanted to play with the Pokemon for a while. <laughs> it was cute. <laughs> uh, let me roll my initiative while we're at it. Yeah, go ahead and roll your initiative for the week, guys. That's it. That initiative. I'm real tired of being first. <laughs> well, I don't think you have to worry about it this time around. Yeah. Wow. I got last! Yay! Alright. So you guys are patched up. Uh, Cine is done playing with the frog, I think. Yep, looks like it. I had to go save her as well. I had to save these two, then I had to go save her from the frog. It was a good time. HP Fox is conscious again. Uh, Volt, why do I have an icon on yours? Remind me. Uh, it was from some spider poison damage. Oh, that's on right. the floor below us. Okay. So I'm gonna clear that out. Alright. Two. No, and Real quick. Yep. To address the chat, um, the reason that it also kind of looks stiff up with the dice is Bolt and Impy have been working like all week to get these kind of things set up so I that it kind of is more interactive for you guys as well. You can see the moving dice instead of just, oh, there's a number. Yeah, yeah. I've um, been working on some other scripts and APIs to use as well, but nothing's been implemented yet because I can't get them to play nicely. Oh, well, I need to turn the music off too. There we go. Okay. Um, so, as far as why are you guys where you are? You guys are in a tower, right? We're on a rescue mission. Yeah, we've been climbing up the walls because, well, that ain't I climbed up the last wall because I didn't realize the stairs actually worked. There, there's apparently a kid in this tower or something. I don't Some know. old dude's neck. Look, all I know is that this place affording my first decent meal in a while, so I'm pretty happy about that. That was pretty good. The rest of us aren't too happy about that. <laughs> um, nom nom. It's like brains are not for eating. Uh, brains um, are not for um, eating. They might be. They are. Have you ever had one? No, you don't know. Don't judge. Brains are 
He does make a fair point. So we're here, uh, apparently trying to save some kid at the behest of someone in town. And, I mean, we're going to get paid for it. It's big. We're here because we're going to get good stuff for saving this kid. Or at least trying to find where the kid is. Alright, so yeah, that's a, that's a good oversight of where you guys currently are. So, uh, hybrid, looks like CC has the, uh... The initiative to begin with? What are you up to? Stairs looks like a good plan. He'd be getting the F out of here. Alright. Oh god, what is it? Are you going up or down? Well, I thought down was not an option, so going up. Alright. Who was that? I can't read it. It's too small. D Baker, thank you for that follow. Appreciate that. So you're going up, uh, hybrid? Yep, up is the way. Oops. Alright, I believe you're going to want to go right this time. Okay. <gasps> Magic! So... Ooh. That follow train. G4 Spider Neko, thank you for that follow. Yeah. Appreciate that. What up, Neck? Um, so up the stairs leads into, in contrast to the other rooms that you've been in, uh, where they were kind of small and served you know, probably one or two purposes, this is a large room. Um, it takes up the whole floor. And it even extends out over the areas where you uh, came in. So this is like the overhang top floor of the of the tower. So there there are um make sure I'm giving you the right description, hang on. There's things, there's stuff. So Shit the, is happening. <laughs> the four uh wings of the tower are completely open on this level and it forms like a big cross shape uh chamber with arch ceilings. The decayed remains of carpets roam from the doorways of each of the That follow. Trustin, thank you for that follow. Uh, Raven, thank you for that hey, host. Raven. Yeah, that Raven was alerts. We appreciate Trust that, you guys. Fun. You guys are awesome. Um, the decayed remains of a carpet run from the doorways from end to end on each wing, meeting in the center where a spiral staircase uh, that you came up to drops out of sight. A large throne-like chair stands in the middle of the eastern wing, next to a big chest. Alright, um... So there's nothing that really looks out of the order. I'm gonna roll a perception check, see if there's anything that I need to, uh, be aware of in this room, since Cece's kind it. of a derp. Um, no. Not at all. You are, <laughs> you are, in fact, this carpet is really neat. This is the neatest carpet you? you think you've ever seen. Are you sure you're not in a coma? <laughs> you very well may be blind. That, that, that's a botch. I, I, I'm glad I didn't try to swing at anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna, we're going to end your turn with you staring at this carpet. Just shake it off, shake it off. HP Fox, what is Alyssa up to? Well, I'm gonna stand here smugly for a moment because I wasn't the first to break up the party this time. <laughs> uh, so we haven't finished exploring the floor that we're on. Uh, also, I'm going to toss yet another health potion at Gaius to replace the replacement that I gave him in our last session. Huh, look at that. It's come back yet again. Then and then I'm going to move boomer. this door down here and... You going to throw it open? Yes. Okay. I hear, like, I'm getting some cutting out tonight. I don't know if it's me or if it's just Discord altogether or what. Uh, it's Discord. I think I'm noticing like a little bit that. with this, but... Uh, just for shits and grins, HB, you're using push to talk, right? 
Yeah, I think I'm releasing the button a little too early. Okay. Yeah, I think that's all it is, because I, I typically try to hold it down for like a second two after I'm done talking, just in case. Well, I was, I was losing like complete sentences from Volt earlier tonight, so uh, that's why I was wondering if maybe it was Discord. <laughs> Anyhow. Yeah, I have to get used to this one a bit, because my audio is actually delayed by about a second. Uh, and on TeamSpeak, I have push to talk release delayed by a second as well, but I can't do that on Discord, so I have to get used to holding it down longer. Alright, so that room... Actually, I need to change the lighting in it real quick, hang on. <laughs> I forgot to add a light. Dead dynamic lighting, though. It, it's nice. There you go. Um, so a brazier of glowing coal sits in the center of this room, its acrid smoke mixing with the ever-present troglodyte stench. A few knives, pokers, and other metal implements lie atop a rusty iron box nearby. You stink pretty. Uh, go ahead and roll me a uh, constitution save, please. Alright, so the stink is um, emitting from the room and from the creature in the room is enough to begin to turn your stomach. Alright, you taking any other actions? Uh, if I step back from the door, will the door remain open? Yes. I am going to take a step back just uh, over here uh, and then since those are the things that just beat the crap out of me I'm going to fire a shot at it. Okay. Sounds like a good idea. That will hit. Like to believe that air goes right through the torch and catches it on time. You'd like to think that, wouldn't you? I would. Right. Anything else that should be Fox? Oh, that's it. No, All right. I can't. All right. So the the troglodyte chases you out of the room, like. The arrow comes flying into him, he takes it in, in the shoulder, looks up, sees you, and just like charges the door. Unfortunately, he can't quite make it to you. Or fortunately, depending on how you look at it. Sinny, what is Mara up to? Well, the first thing she's doing is getting help. There you go. Myself back up Alright. And the next thing I'll do is pop into here. Twisters? I'm going to shoot at the truck Go for it. Actually, I take it back. I'll flail on That will miss. Yeah. Okay. Volt, what are you up to? Uh, is the truck what I, like in the doorway? It is. You know what? I carried these people last time through all of their madness. <laughs> uh, let me see something. I'm gonna move over here next to it, and I'm gonna grab the door and slam the door into the truck that I'm trying to squish it between the door and the door jam. So the door actually opens into the other room. Well, that's disappointment. I don't believe it. Don't believe Fine, it. Not for a I'll second. Get it with my face meat then. Not nearly as fun, mind you. <laughs> 
He's looking pretty rough right about now. He's got a big chunk out of his face and arrows sticking out of his chest. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Um, uh, hybrid, what are you up to? Oh, I must have been 90k or something. Okay. Oh, wow, it's my turn already. Sweet! It is. Well, after admiring this, this apparently oh antique shag carpet, um, I'm gonna go ahead and poke around that <laughs> box I noticed, like, when I came in. Okay, go ahead and roll me a perception check real quick. Alright, <laughs> Jesus, why are you hating? <laughs> so that's a really pretty carpet. Oh, what box? I want to take this carpet home with me. <laughs> that's some, that's a some real pretty carpet. Uh, so you spend your turn looking at the carpet. Oh boy. I'm just gonna roll in it. Today's Fuck everything else in this room. I'm success. just gonna lay in this carpet. Probably got catnip in it. Sorry, I have this artifact, like... I don't token that won't go away. I was trying to get rid of it. It's just not happening. <laughs> and it's bugging the crap out of me. Anyway. HP Fox, what are you up to? I am going to clamber over these beds and take another Go for it. Oh, roll me a botch, please, sir. Uh, the dice are against us. So, uh, Gaius, uh, you, you want to take five damage? I'm sorry. Uh, no. Yeah, you do. I'm going to go with no. <laughs> I'm going to go one. with that's not an option. You take five let, damage. Let me, let me see if I want to you. take the five damage, sir. No, I don't want to take the five damage, and I want. Let me rephrase that. Take five damage. Five and, an, damage. and an arrow into the back of your head. Oh, no. You're the worst. <laughs> Literally Hitler. I don't even know what to say at this point. You know what? <laughs> and, uh, Volt, go ahead and roll me a uh, constitution save, please, sir. Oh, fantastic. Even better. It didn't appear on my screen until after I saw Muzz attacking already. Hey, you made it. You're fine. That's it. However, a six does not hit your AZ, I hope. Thank fuck no. Okay, so that's the uh, the bite, and now for the claw. Does a that's 23? Like what if I told you not? I would probably not believe you. I wouldn't either. Go ahead and take uh, five damage, please, sir. So from, I'm in the troglodytes. <laughs> so you're unconscious. It's your turn to be unconscious this time. Yay! How, uh, what, what? What were your hit points at? They were at two. Okay, so you're three in, down on your other. I'm well. at negative. No. You want me to put negative three as my current? No, it's uh for the unconscious bar. You have to take three off of it. So okay. I took three off. So you're at eight unconscious. If that eight goes, then you're dead. Fantastic. Uh, Sydney, what are you doing? So the thing is, you're dead yet. It's not, and apparently HP Fox just likes shooting teammates. I am so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll attack it again. Go for it. Hey, good job. Hello. You killed it. Yay. You're welcome, you bastards. <laughs> you. Alright, so it's uh, guys. Oh, wait. I yeah. Yay! <laughs> Fuck you! I, I'd like to oh, play here. Oh, Cindy, you can you can quick. move if you'd like. I went into it. Is there anything to investigate? Should I do a perception? Um, like on the corpse. Sure. Yeah, go ahead and roll a perception check. 
He has two arrows sticking out of him. Oh, great. <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll save. Uh, I'll move in. Uh, actually, let's see. Let's see what else. He does have a... I just had to turn the page to find the right thing. Um, he carries a uh, key on him. Like it's a rusted kind of iron key. Yeah. Um, and a suit of studded leather armor uh, and shield. Okay. Right, uh, let's see. Hybrid. How's that carpet? I'm gonna name it Squishy. <laughs> Alright, what are you up to? Squishy carpet does it sound very nice. <laughs> it loves me, so I love it. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and try to do another perception check to see if I can tear myself away from this fantastic carpet. Alright. No, not really. <laughs> you, uh... Yeah, you look around the room. Something seems a little off. Uh, you swear something was different before you got distracted by the carpet. But you can't really put your finger on it. I like that 20. I like it. I don't like it. So while you were busy uh, looking at the carpet, you failed to notice the other occupant in the room, who has since made his way uh, closer to you. Uh -oh. So he's going to have advantage on this. No, don't oh, take advantage oh of me. That's just rude. Oh boy. So take uh, eight damage from a scimitar? Scimitar? Scimitar. Scimitar. Mother fudge snacker. And then another eight from uh, being bitten. Yep, I'm down. What you're saying is, I have to come back and save everybody. Pretty Somebody much. needs to. Quickly, <laughs> please. Just, oh, God. As long as you don't shoot me, it's a step better than how the day has begun. <laughs> Maybe you should be nicer, and I will consider it. Fucking just, I don't know. Try using a healing arrow on. Alright, HP Fox, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, I think my first move is going to be wandering right over there. Um, I, I'm going to take out one of my arrows. I'm, I'm not going to stab him, don't worry. Uh, I'm going to use it to <laughs> lift his face tentacles out of the way, because nobody wants to touch that. Looking for his mouth hole. And I'm going to shove one of my very quickly dwindling health potions down his throat. Alright. <laughs> Vault, go ahead and roll your heal. And you heal for yeah. three less than that, because three of it has to go to your unconscious bar. That's okay. It still brings me to five of seven. <laughs> Goddamn squishy people. <laughs> Alright. I only uh, have one health pot left. Sydney, what are you doing? I didn't expect to take a okay. friendly Where fire. Where do I go to get to Susie? Uh, she went upstairs. Where am I? You are there. I, don't have to... I am there? You are there. Where do I go from here? I'll go back up here? Yeah. Ah. Uh... Upstairs. Is that as... Yeah, is that yeah. as far as you can move? Yeah. Uh, yeah right, so you're going to be going right? Pretty much. Yeah, I think for every double move, she has like another 10 on top of that. Okay. So, is that. Do I have an action or. Nope, because you would have run, so that would have been double your movement, ah. so you forfeit an action. Gotcha. Alright, uh. Volt, what are you doing? Well, 
first I'm gonna scowl very disapprovingly at the fact that I've been shot. There's Are you like nothing to deserve that? In my head, you're drumming your tentacles on your chest. Oh, like, no. <laughs> there's <laughs> not a question at all that I'm one very upset with. <laughs> going around making but, soy bird wars. <laughs> but in comparison, you know, to the dunce that decided to bolt in and look at the torch and stuff, help the fallen I team forgot. member. <laughs> I'm actually going to deliver one more scowl at the great team killer here, and then I'm going to follow I'm so along. uncomfortable right now. <laughs> <laughs> to the right, sir. Hey, oh, there we go. Alright, and hybrid is doing a lot of nothing. Hey. Hey, I'm, I, that was my oh. move. Can oh, I, was that just your regular I, move? Yeah, that was like my right. 20 move, so I could, I still got move to Go discover it. what's going on in here. Position around it. <laughs> so, I mean, she's still down, but actually I'll move right there. Because she's unconscious, so I don't get flanking for it anyway. Right. So I'll just move right there. And I'm going to scowl at the half elf that left me to rot. And I'm going to hit this thing. I don't know what's going on, but now I'm mad. All right, fair enough. I'm just going to hit it. I think our Ithlid has anger management issues. I think it's pretty justified at this point. You missed. Good job. Impressive. Good job. Swing and a miss. Alright, uh, so that'll be his turn. And since you swung at him... Bring he's, it on. He's I just don't even care. Him. Oh boy. Go play joust. <laughs> there we uh, go. I get to be around two dumb people. Uh, well, you're the only conscious one at the point at the moment, so. <laughs> no. Uh. So twelve. How, how does I'm twelve? Dead. Twelve inch. <laughs> Jesus. 12 is dead. 12 is negative right. 1. Okay, that's fine. I, I have plans in mind, don't worry. My goodness, this thing is brutal. Split up the party. I blame the carpet! There's our me. HP Fox. <laughs> what are you up to? Don't come up here! The one full here living member of the team. <laughs> Leave us to die. I really Run. don't want to go up there. <laughs> you Since my character has no idea what's die. actually going on up there. <laughs> All is well. Come, join us. One of us. So, you uh, you run up the stairs, and uh, you find your your friends. Lying face down in pools of blood. This uh, I just lizard. That one. <laughs> this lizard creature <laughs> standing over them with this large, like, scimitar and blood under his claws. You do have an action still. What are you going to do? It's just when I thought it would be more uncomfortable. Just pee yourself. <laughs> just use that action to pee yourself. I'm just going to beat corpses with arrows at them. Broke again. We have faith in I got you. That's not going for broke. Oh, oh, you should at least stood on the other side of me, so in case you botch, you would at least shoot something you already know how to hit. I don't think Corpse's cap is flanked. That'll, uh, yeah, that'll be a miss. Oh, God. Samara. Um. 
Cinny, I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah. try something out here. Uh, on your character sheet, you should have somewhere for a death saving throw. Uh, yeah, it's underneath the, the big heart for hit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Go it. ahead and roll one, please. No. <laughs> trying to decide how I want to do this, because um, I didn't have anything in mind. <laughs> we fucked up. We fucked up real quick. We good. weren't expecting you to die! <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. Um, go ahead and uh, let's see. GM work tonight. Well, I have a couple of different options depending on how things go, so I'm just trying to make this one the more interactive one. <laughs> go ahead and heal one uh, one hit point. Whoa! Oh. What? That still keeps me at zero. I was negative one. That's fine. Well, let's just save. Volt, go ahead and roll a <laughs> uh, a death save, please. I'm, I'm kind of yeah, you're still dead. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, we're winning tonight. Hybrid, go ahead and roll me a, uh, a death save. <laughs> I don't know if he hears these. <laughs> Wait, D12? Uh... I what am I doing? Hey, you're, on, on your character sheet, there should be a spot sheet. for death saves. Look for the big heart, and then you'll see a little blue heart button. That's what you want. There you go. Whoa, Whoa that's second number. Now, uh, <laughs> now go ahead and heal seven hit points. You can do it. So you're back to actual one actual hit point. For the love of God, use a function. <laughs> the, uh, the lizard man, however, is not very amused with H.P. Fox and his oh. shenanigans. H.P. does a 10 hit your AC? It does not. There it is. That's all. Yes! It's not over yet. How about a 13? It does not. Nice. <laughs> and it is your turn, sir. Run away. <laughs> Good things. Yeah, run, running is definitely my first thought. Um, I'm going to move after I stop using the ruler. Move over here and take a shot at it. Um, that'll hit. So that arrow hits home in, in about his shoulder. I'll take it. I mean, all my teammates are lying on the floor unconscious, so <laughs> less of a chance to hit them, right? Yep, that's true. Unless you botch. You know, arrows can end up in corpses, too. Um, Very good point. Sydney, give me a death save. Oh. Whoa. Not this time. Uh, Volt, give me a death save. Oh, what a good time. I'm sure this will go well. Shiny and chrome. Hey, hey. Oh, yeah. Roll me a crit. Let's hit that fancy crit button. Extra no. Yeah, son. That feels good. Heal oh, 24 bitch. points of damage. <laughs> yeah. Check it out. Or, I would just like to say, seven health. that is such a fucking waste you could share, you know? Hang on. <laughs> Volt, if you would like to forfeit your action, I will allow you to give the remaining five to somebody else. They, they can have my action. I'll give let it to Cece. She at least has some help. I'm going to go ahead and forfeit my action. Cece's alive with one currently, yes. right? Yeah. Yes. Give the other five. Give the rest to her. Okay. Go ahead and put yourself at full health. Hybrid, your <laughs> turn. Elephant rose from the head <laughs> so hard it brought someone back with him. Oh god, that's terrifying. Apparently you're a wow shaman. That needs to be a quote if you have a code system. Damn. That's some zombie sit up shit. They're just boom. No. So what you're saying is okay, is so Volt I don't want is to be down Jesus. again, so I'm gonna take out my whip and I'm just going to 
Try not to hit everybody else. Nice room. <laughs> Please, make way the first on the floor. Please. <laughs> Please put it and put it between you and me. I'm going to move away from Mara, just in case. Alright. My poor body. Okay, just a second. Okay, I'm going to move away from Yeah, I might... No, it's just my screen is zoomed out, so I'm kind of fighting with getting it in the right spot. No Hang on. <laughs> So, I'm going to do this. I'm going to put you right there so that you have flank there on him. Go. Because oh, okay. Mara, Mara is still unconscious. Yeah, I did. Flank. She doesn't okay. count. But you did hit him. Good job. Woohoo! It's but a scratch. Knowing this button. Whoops. Um, and you have his attention. Oh, <laughs> 11 hit your ACs. Huh? Hybrid. Thank God, no. Hey. How about a 20? Mother fudge snacker. <laughs> oh, it's, only, it's only four points of damage, so you're okay. Good lord. We're winning this game. HP Fox? I back from the, the too hard to allow you to die now. <laughs> Same as last time, except that. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and need uh, one of those one of those botch rolls from you, please. You know that we, we still love you. Pre press that. Quick, guy is stuck. <laughs> it's gonna stick in my you body. You don't have what it takes. Shoot me. So um. Cinny. Yeah? If you take one more point of damage, you are dead. Need to find a priest to raise you dead. Oh. Jesus. Just, just, you know, that, throwing that out there. <laughs> so there's nothing coming back from me. Well. You need a young priest and an old priest. <laughs> Alyssa's just shot you with an arrow. Uh, Apparently in the yeah. spine. I'm ashamed of myself. <laughs> I told you to miss the course. <laughs> Damage, <laughs> this is payback for some past unknown crime. <laughs> is it because I climbed the wall and everybody else took the stairs? I think it is. I think he has <laughs> a grudge <laughs> against you. <laughs> Cindy, roll me a, uh, a death save for Mara. I'm afraid. Nice. Oh, thank God. Oh, fuck. Hey, go Whoa. ahead and get uh, get 12 HP back. Uh, 10 of that is going into your unconscious pool. The other two is going oh, into your health. Oh, God. So get two health back. <laughs> yeah. I thought I had something. You did. Well, you have two more than you did. <laughs> and you're you're not on the brink of needing a priest any, anymore. So Ooh. there's that. Fult, what's Gaius doing? Out to beat. Okay. To be fair, she was unconscious, so she didn't see that I was the one that shot her. Well, I'm going to take one of my health pots, and I'm going to pour it gently into the mouth of the now newly cast post-film Superman, Mara, over here. Never riding a horse again, thanks to the art. Aww, of <laughs> my love horses. <laughs> Never happening again. You don't even know you have legs anymore. So sip on that. Oh. I'm gonna go ahead and heal her back, up, and then I'm going to tentacle whip the son of a bitch. Right. I'm fucking tired of it. That'll hit, and it's a nice hit. The floor is getting bloody up there. What are you guys doing? Uh, hybrid, what are you up to? I'm gonna do it again. Yeah, what? Go for it. 
That'll miss. Whoa. Or not. So you can move if you'd like to. Or I suppose if you <laughs> yeah. if you would like to take another attack instead of move, I will let you. I'm a tough girl. I can take it. Hit it with your fists of fury. Oh. Uh you, you know what? You should stop <laughs> rolling for the night. <laughs> What at least at least we had advantage, so you didn't botch. Uh, it didn't really work for botches. Yeah, that's fine. Just take me by my ankles and use me as a bludgeoning weapon. It's fine. Go ahead and roll me a botch uh, there, hybrid. Crap. <laughs> Volt, what did you say your HP was at? Oh, it's full. Thankfully. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead and uh, go ahead and take six. I'm still alive. You can't kill me. <laughs> uh -oh. The rolls tonight. It's testing I have taken skills. more damage from my party <laughs> than I have the environment. It's you have a thing in your spine. I'm sorry. <laughs> um. Well. So at the moment, Mara and Gaius both look like they're about to fall over. So his attention is drawn to uh, CC. Does a 15 hit you, hybrid? Just barely. Ugh. No, With stop five? it! Ow. And I know a 9 does not, so you're good to go there. Oh, God. HP Fox, what are you up to? What's the list of one? Uh, I'm afraid to even breathe at this point. <laughs> Please get what? much closer if you're going to hey, shoot it. If you could, dip your arrow in a health potion. Just for a boost. Just, just shoot me up for just a second. I'll be okay. <laughs> well, I know okay. if I aim at you, then I'll probably hit the lizard. If you yeah, let's not. You're right. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> yeah, do it that way. What's the worst that could happen? What are you going to do? Shoot me? <laughs> I may Already very well. Let's find out. Hey. Oh. And max damage. Nicely done. Alright. Uh, Cindy, what's Mara doing? Uh... She's healing. I have. I want to see if I have enough. I fed you a health potion. <laughs> Why are you healing? Again? So many, so many botches. You fed me a health potion. Yeah, but what is it? Am I at full health? I don't remember that. <laughs> you can't fix shit right now. You are not at full health right now, no. no. I don't remember him doing the potion thing, so... I think that was downstairs. I think that was. Okay, there. I'm fine. Alright. What is Gaius doing? Oh, I'm still doing oh. it, sorry. Okay. <laughs> That's my bad. I no was worries. just getting the numbers done. No, you said you, you were like, I'm done, and I instantly thought, okay, that's the end of turn, so that was my fault. Oh, no, sorry. Okay, I'm I'm right next to it, so I'm gonna go ahead and do. I think I'll do my masterwork silver dagger. Go for it. That'll hit. Six piercing. Oh, actually, that is, that will be a crit because you guys have him flanked. Go ahead and roll me your yes. crit. So he's gonna take twelve. And that'll be enough. And he dies and bleeds all over the place. Oh, fuck. fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> so how are you guys feeling? I'm just, I expect a fucking trophy. What a good time. Just the best video game. Good times were had by all. So, uh, yeah. So good times were had by me. I didn't, you know. Hit, hit by my own team. <laughs> okay. I'll be so fine as long as I get 
take this carpet with me. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna suggest, since it is my turn, that we all take a five minute breather to just kind of gather ourselves after what just happened there. Maybe a short rest is in order. Was he wearing anything other than a loincloth? Because we should get some. <laughs> yeah, hang on. Okay. So, he's got a few things on him. Um, and you guys roll me perception checks, whoever's searching the body, so I can tell, figure out who gets what. Perception check, you said. Yeah. I can't see shit. Let me, do you want me to roll my crit button again? Damn it. No. <laughs> uh, alright, so that's everybody. So, Volt. Yep. Hang on, I'm, I'm reading over what he actually has to see what's most valuable for you. He, there is a wand on him. Um, and also a amethyst worth a hundred gold pieces. Uh, Cinny? There is a, uh, about 247 gold in random coins. Hybrid, he has a, um, a set of keys on him. Shiny! Mine! And a potion of luster, lesser restoration. Oh, I thought you were going to say a potion of lust, and I'm like, <laughs> mine. I thought lesser, I'm like, it's I mean, the, the stable boy knows that. HP Fox, <laughs> uh, after, after everybody else has picked him clean, you find uh, five shrinkins. And a uh, potion of cat's grace. <gasps> you get the cosplay I'll take it. I want. To, I'm gonna go ahead and I want to give the amethyst to Cece, who, with the promise that she <laughs> hangs out with the rest of her good pals a little more often. I will give you this <laughs> if you will stay next to Mara. And not go off adventuring on your own. But I found this great carpet. But okay, fine. Okay, I'll give her the amethyst. Okay. okay but what was that potion again? Uh, the one that I gave you was a potion of lesser restoration. Or rather, okay. the potion that you found. Other than that, there you go. I want to rest my health back up. How long of a rest would I need to do that instead of chugging one of these health pots? Um, so a short rest will give you, will allow you to uh, heal one hit die worth of uh, health. Full rest uh, will give you, or a long rest will give you all of your health back, but that's also eight hours uninterrupted. You know what? I'll just drink one of my health potions because uh, I might as well enjoy them. Or I could, you could wait till my turn and I could do medicine on you. So yeah, but you have a chance to botch that. <laughs> sure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drink my health pot, and now that all the commotion has calmed down. I want to go back downstairs. Okay. But there's a throne and a door. You guys have fun with that. I wasn't done. Oops, my bad. <laughs> Jump with the gun. So I'll go back downstairs. I don't know where downstairs is on the map, but that's where I'd like to go. It'll be to the left. Okay. And I want to come at least now over here right there because I never got a good look at the room that the frog was in it was just ooh big thing and that one was my turn alright hybrid what are you up to I'm gonna follow suit and go ahead and chug my little health potion because damn damn shotgunning health potions
Nice. Yay, I'm not dying. Yeah, oh, you should get that checked out. Isn't that button to roll health pot nice? Yes. Okay, and I'm gonna take another moment to kind of look around the room now that it's dead. All right. Is there anything in particular you're looking for, or looking at? You mentioned a box. Did I? You did. You the right. throne. I did. So you're gonna check out the chest. See if I remember the chest after everything that happened to me. Damn. Yeah, I think you remember the chest. Okay, I'm gonna go check the chest. Okay. You just gonna open it up? Gonna make sure it's not trapped or anything, because this Come has on. been a really bad day. Roll me a perception check. <laughs> there is there seems to be a line running from the lid of the uh, of the chest into the floor. So that, like, if you were to open the chest, it would pull tight. <laughs> That's just not fair. What would you use to disarm a trap? Like, oh, probably stealth? Stealth works. Uh, oh, sleight, sleight of hand, hand can work. I or... am, I'm really good at sleight of hand. <laughs> Roll sleight of hand if you want to try to disarm it. You think I'm you've so disarmed close. it. Well, we ran you think. <laughs> the box was there. So this is how you take the wrong pill. Well, goddamn, I'm good, <laughs> and I just fling that, try to fling that fucker open. Alright, roll me a dexterity check. Got this. Hey, you jump out of the way in time. Uh, so oh, you throw the lid open and this this set of spikes comes flying out of the wall behind you that would have gone directly into your back. Uh, but you duck out of the way and uh, and they retract back into the wall and the chest is now open. Fuzz, how are you doing, sir? People that made this tower are fucking mean. <laughs> in the chest are a large uh, wooden shield really probably not doesn't do anybody really any good um, but the troglodytes may have thought it would have been some sort of protection and then also a uh, masterwork short sword I could use a short because all I've got is a weep alright so yeah, that's more than you're more than happy to take it uh, masterwork for 5th edition is plus 3 Alright, and what's the damage die on it? Uh, hang on, let me look at it. Uh, short sword? I can find yeah. that out if you want. I can have the same pass in the book to tell you. I'm on. Just so I can add it to my list of things I can smack people with. Okay. Uh, I will look that up okay. for us while you guys do your thing. She's handing me the book right now, but it's a short sword, right? It is a short sword. I want to say it's, okay, and I wanna say it's like... Three. Yeah, I want to say it's a D6, or it's a D8, one of the two. That sounds yeah. about yeah. right. Yeah. 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 One D6 piercing. There you go. Yeah. That's it. Alright, HP Fox, what are you up to? What's Alyssa's doing? Well, first order of business is to not nearly kill my teammates. Uh, I'm going to take a look around the room. Okay. Sit in the chair! So the room is actually pretty sparsely furnished. In fact, the only thing there is the chair and the stairwell that you came up, and the box that, uh, that CC is picking through. Uh, there are four doors, one on each wing, that all lead out to a balcony uh, overlooking the battlefield below.
Oh, I'm closest to this one, so let's just wander over here. All right. Look outside. So in the distance, you can see like scars on the land from where there must have been uh, ballista and and large uh, war machines that drug, dug t trenches in the earth, and it's still kind of left behind scars. You can see a couple of other keeps. Uh, most of them are in ruins, however, and not really. Uh, they don't look like they're even safe to approach or think about entering. I want to follow this balcony around a bit, but I'm not going to pull a CC and wander away from the rest of the party, so I'm just going to stand here and wait. Okay. Oh, come on, live a little. Or don't. Okay, uh, Cindy, what's Mara up to? I want to investigate this chair a bit more. Okay. Right. Well, That's a chair. chair. <laughs> oh, bitch. It's got four legs and everything. God, it's special. Um, all I think that about does that is, well, I don't know if there's anything worth going on about the keyboard. Alright. So that brings us back over to Gaius. Gaius, what are you up to? Okay, so now that's done, I want to step, you know, right out here, right in the middle of the room. Uh, that looks about right. I really want to take a closer peek at this room because all I got to see was frog. All right, so there there are the only thing to really note in that room is that there is a large crack in the ceiling, uh, and because of that, it has let water, rainwater, pool in the room. Uh, so the the rainwater is kind of growing algae, which is probably a lot of what the frog was feeding on, um, and gives you a guess that it's been there for a while. It's also full of, uh, full of mold. Uh, is, how thick is, is there anything behind the algae? Or is it just wall? It's just wall and, and water, or floor, depending. Hmm. Oh, God. Is there anything of note in here other than uh, there is the door to the southwest, uh, but that is about it. Because there's the door here that I just came out of with the bunker, well with the all the beds and everything, and then we came in from the balcony there I believe, but yeah I'm going to move a little bit more, I'm going to move out here still, because all I know is we came up the stairs, and this is kind of where, I believe this is where Mara climbed up from, because she got in here somehow. So I'm going right. to come down here and kind of do the same thing, kind of look around, see if there's anything of merit, anything that I need to know about. Okay. Roll me a, uh, a dexterity check, please. Dex check. So, as you step out towards the ledge, there's, you can feel the, the plate kind of under your foot give way a little bit, like you've, you've triggered something. But so far, nothing happens. You can feel that kind of click, um, but, but there's been no action yet. Huh. All right. And if I step off the plate... Rinton, thank you for that follow. We appreciate that. Hey. You guys, thank Rinton for coming in and joining us. Um, thank you. Roll me. So you're stepping off of the plate? Yes. All right, roll me a uh, dexterity check again. Can I do on it down. That makes one of us. All right. Uh, everybody other than Volt, roll me perception checks, please. Uh-oh. So, <laughs> you, you all feel the tower shake. Uh, HP Fox, you're the only one that realizes that 
Uh, the shake is coming from the level below you. Uh, Doug Slayer, thank you for that follow as well, sir. Appreciate that. Um, sorry, follow noise popped in my ears. Um, Gaius, on the other hand, you are rocketed off of the balcony uh, as the, the balcony below you explodes into a ball of fire. Um, throwing you pretty much off the edge and down three stories of tower. Well, that doesn't sound good. Uh, you done. Fuck so. Mm. I assume right. I would probably have a view of that from the balcony I am on. You, uh, you definitely have a view of it. You can, well, you're hanging over the edge, so you see, what you see is this big ball of fire erupt from the side of the tower. Uh, and you probably, with that perception check, you probably see Gaius's body go flying uh, off the edge. Anyone got any spare health pots? I didn't know it's let's fly. Uh, uh friends, <laughs> I think I might have messed up. Alright, hybrid, what are you up to? Alright, well, since I was explicitly instructed to stay by Mara in order to obtain my shiny, I am pretty much up Mara's rear end. Oh dear, hey dear, oh dear. It, it was part of our agreement, so... I am I'm essentially with Mara. Alright. Uh, HP Fox, what are you doing? How long was that rope that CC had? I want to say it's... It's supposed to be 50 feet. Yeah. I don't suppose that would get me to the bottom from here. Uh, you are five stories up, so... Uh, each of the rooms is about 10 feet, 12 feet. It gets you within 6 feet of the ground. Hey, CC, can I borrow that rope for a second? You're gonna bring it back, right? And fell off the balcony. I'll leave it right here. I'll tie it off right here, and you can grab it anytime you want, as long as I'm not holding onto it for dear life. Alright. I hand him my rope. This rope is seeing yeah, some use. Just that, if possible, tie it off and shimmy down to the bottom. Okay, so you can you can tie it off to like the the chair that's there. It's pretty secured uh, to the floor. And uh, give me a dexterity check. Let's make sure you or either a dex or a strength check, whichever one you want, to make sure you don't fall. Yeah, you're fine. Uh, and you're shimming all the way awesome. down? Yes. Oh. Yeah, that'll put you out there. Alright, um... That was HP Fox's turn. Cindy, what are you doing? So... One fell, and one is climbing. What about these other doorways? They all lead to the balcony, right? Yeah. Is there anything to tell me if I should go search the entire balcony? Uh, roll me perception. Or use insight, whichever one you feel like. Oh, um... I'm gonna go with insight instead. Yeah, go for it. Even worse. Yes, okay. you should walk all the way around the balcony. Something <laughs> is just telling you in your gut. Is, is HB Fox still there? Yeah, he's still attached that we could use it too? It is. Okay, let's, let's do that. 
Okay, either uh, agility or strength to shimmy down the rope. Or athletics if you have it. I always forget what the new skills are for fifth ed. Yeah, it's athletics. Hey, you Perfect. slide down the rope with absolutely no problems. Oh, yeah. In fact, Look who's the climber net well, opposite of the climber. In fact, you are able to rappel down the tower while carrying CC on your back. Let's go, baby. Let's work for me. <laughs> so you guys are going Probably up and to the left. So you guys reach the base of the tower, and um, there on the ground is a smoldering human-sized crater. Oh, this is nothing like the cartoons. <laughs> What's a cartoon? In the I'll tell you when you're over. <laughs> in the crater uh, are a couple of scorched and burned uh, tatters of, of robes and, and rags, but no actual form. Uh, about where where Gaius would have landed, so about there. Okay. Yeah. Did he poof? There is no body there at all. You've you've got you know burned and scorched rags and and robes, but no body to speak of. That slimy in explicit content poofed. Roll me a uh, perception. So there are some markings around the the hole as if like somebody <laughs> climbed out of it. But whereas like illithid fingers are long and, and you know thin, these are kind of meteor sized hands. So they're bigger and thicker. I really thought you said meteor sized I'm like <laughs> I yes. they they are the size of small <laughs> asteroids. But there is no guys to speak of. So let's see. Uh, opposite CC. Hybrid, what are you doing? I'm gonna poke through the rag, see if there's anything I can pilfer. Okay. Um, Volt, did you have any health potions left on you? Uh, there were two left on me. Hybrid roll me a d20. And Volt roll me a d20. Also, uh, there was a potion of cured light wounds on me as well. Okay. And yeah, d20? I can do that. Alright. Alright. Hey, you find all three potions intact. They somehow survived the f the four story fall. Apparently, he didn't land on his satchel. <laughs> Apparently, I'm gonna hold on to these because I know we'll see them again. <laughs> okay. Uh, HP Fox, what are you doing? I would like to roll for investigation since I'm proficient in it to you know, maybe get a better idea of what the hell just happened. Okay. Alright, so Bye. you spend some time looking at the hole and the, the markings around it, and it looks like um, whatever landed here, or, or Gaius when he landed here, uh, something was able to crawl up out of the hole and began making its way back towards the road. That's not very comforting. Um, I, I'm just... I'll share the knowledge with uh, the other two remaining party members. Alright. Should we get the hell out of here? It might not be a bad idea. 
Right. And Mara, what's or Cindy, what's Mara doing? Um, I guess I don't know if I should do an, a perception check or maybe a survival okay. check on if we should leave the area and move on somewhere. Yeah, go but ahead. We roll. never found that check either. Dude, whatever. Yeah, no, you didn't. Shit. Well, I guess let's let's head back to the town. I guess. So you guys are headed back to town. I don't know if you guys think we should keep looking, or do you think we should head back? Hey, don't. I feel like there's something here that we're missing. That's yeah. awfully important. Hey, Captain Joe, how's it going? Well, that kid was supposedly here, but you think we'd have seen something? Now, did either of you check the other three doors on that top floor before I shimmied down the balcony? <laughs> no. I feel like there, there's got to be something we missed here. And if those doors weren't checked, I wouldn't be very comfortable leaving without knowing what's there. Even if it's just another balcony. Well, let's go. D-A-R-E-N-A-R-E. Yeah, that's what I was So you guys going back up? Apparently we need to check the balcony stuff. Alright. So, how are you, uh... How are you guys getting back up? Well, we still have rope. Yes, but there's a six-foot uh, difference between ground yeah. and rope. Ah. So there's gonna have to be some like uh, some climbing on top of people things going on. Like right now. Well, which means so not all of us are gonna be going up there. Directly next to me. You two want to go up, and I'll hold down the fort. Or does Cece want to stay down here with her awesome rolling skills? Look at that! Look at how high you're. Yeah, but I have to stay with you, Mara. I promised. I think you will be excellently safe down here. Quadruple, or if the back. two of you want to go up there, I can stay down here. Want to do that? I'd rather do that. I don't want to be left alone. Oh, okay. Also, Alcius has less of a chance of shooting his teammates. That is a fair point, yeah. <laughs> okay, so me and Cece are going. Alright, go ahead and give me uh, athletics or strength or dexterity checks. Oh, boy. Uh, would acrobatics count because it's a dex check? Yeah, I, I, uh, acrobatics is fine. Alright, you, uh, you both are able to make it up there uh, with CC struggling a little bit in the last couple feet. All right, so you guys are going back up to the fifth floor. So hang on, let me move you again. Me down and to the right. Oh my God, we didn't go. die. No, not good enough. Goodbye. All right, uh -huh. so uh, HP Fox for the sim for simplicity sake, I'm just going to skip your turns while they're up here. Yeah, I'd probably just be standing around down here anyway. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, Alright. So, CC, what are you up to? I look at Mar and I'm like, okay, so I'll go this way, you go that way, just stay in okay. shouting distance? Sure. Okay. I'm like, I guess that. So I'm gonna go take that direction. All right. And Sydney, you're gonna take the other one. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna save you guys like 15 turns and go. <laughs> you walk around the perimeter of the um, the tower and you run into each other and get on the other side. Sweet. Back that down was kind of cool. Around. There you go. Whoever built this place has a weird sense of humor. Yeah, I think that. Was your fiance on like the island? 
So there doesn't seem to be anything else on the uh, on the top floor of the tower. Well, damn. So back to town it is. What about the chair? I I checked it out. It was a chair. Squints at her suspiciously. You're welcome to put your butt in it. What a sit in it. Now, do you think if we prayed to God slash the DM? We could do a roll that would tell us. Yep, what that is to definitely do. a fucking chair. Let's <laughs> uh, <laughs> <you>, GTFO. <laughs> um, roll insight checks, you guys. For the sake of 15 turns. You guys, <laughs> not a fucking glue. <laughs> the wind is howling through our ears. Just no, no idea at all. <laughs> what about Alcius? He could roll an insight. For last but he's minute. not up here. Oh, I thought we were back down. I'm so confused. Nope. You know what? At this point, fuck that nephew. Let's go back down. <laughs> <Right. laughs> that kid is just fuck him. He's fine. So I'm blown up, and you guys are just done with this entire situation. <laughs> Ithalid that rose from the dead and brought somebody else back with it went poof. No, we are fucking done. Alright, so you guys are headed back to town. Well, well to be fair... Before, before we go straight back okay. to town, is there any indication of like footsteps or anything oh. going in a certain direction? I know you said towards the road, but is there um, any indication whatever that thing was was headed back to town or going in a completely down. different direction? Roll me a uh, perception check. Yes. Yeah. So as you get back up to the road, you are able to make out what looks like a kind of a shuffled, staggered uh, gate, and uh, it looks like it is headed back to uh, the back the way you guys came. What was that sound? Oh, fun. Weird. Hang on. Backing up slowly. Why is it doing this tonight? Okay, you're good now. Alright. Thank you. Alright, cool. Oh, God. I'm sorry, Jack, because if I was loud, I'd be like, I'd be like, I'd be like, Anyway, so I guess I'm okay now. No, I'm fucking peeking again. What the hell? Hang on, I'm checking. <laughs> yeah, my levels got bumped back up God to like 80. Design. That's why. Alright, should be much better now. I just have to say, just taking a break from the action for one second, <laughs> this is in the top three nights of <laughs> I've ever played. There. This is it. So, actually, I the channel, welcome to what Dungeons yeah. and Dragons actually is. I'm gonna go take a real quick break. I will be right back. So, two seconds. We've broken okay. the GM! This is no! So, I've come back from the dead so hard that I pulled someone with me across the plane of existence and then got blowed the fuck up. See, it's fitting that- That's that some final destination shit right there. It's fitting that, that, uh, Gaius is gone because he did rise from the dead, complete his great work, and then actually bite it. 
So really, he's just completing the circle. Truly, I am the world's greatest necromancer. I brought someone back from the dead so hard I returned them to actual full life. Thank you, good Jesus. Thank you, flying spaghetti monster. Except you can't fly. Oh, I, I think I might have flown. Well, you did fly off the building. <laughs> it's <laughs> falling <laughs> with style. It's true. <laughs> yeah, I saw it. I was going all hitchhiker's guide there. I was just trying to fall and miss the ground. And, and kind of full it. flight. Wow. But seriously, what did we do this week to make RNG hate us so much? No, this is RNG making sure that you're having a good time. True story. <laughs> this is RNG trying to make sure that I kill the rest of you. Stick with us. It's going to get better. <laughs> oh, this is this has been a good day. So I'm just going to go back to drawing our there. characters now while we wait. <laughs> oh, while we yeah, wait for the actually if I didn't actually see him get thrown from the balcony, I'd just assume he was vaporized and be on my way. So do I still have to draw Squidman, or can I draw someone else, or what's going on now? <laughs> oh. Just, just, just oh, no. draw a grilled squid, it'll be close enough. Takoyaki for everyone! Hum nom 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 nom. Have you heard of calamari? Alright, I am back. I've heard of Mon Calamari. They don't like traps. Alright. So, they've discovered what RNG can do to a game. <laughs> so, you guys are headed back to town? Yeah? Yeah, because, sorry, but fuck that kid. Wait, no, wait. Didn't we. No, you never finished your sentence. You said that Elsa saw a trail of, of stumbling, whatever, footprints, but we never heard the end of it. Oh. Headed back to town. Ah, At least back so towards yes. the direction you came. Back to that place. Alright. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm more curious to find out what happened to Squiddy than I am about that truck. What is going on with Rolf's Wyatt and I? It's being fucking weird. Hang on. I read oh, no, the page. It's, found me again. it's just being fucking weird tonight. Your corpse is following us. What the fuck? There we go. Are insane. <laughs> All right. So ignore the the massive villagers there. I'm just happening yeah. to use the same map that I used last time. Um, the so you guys get back to town and there is definitely an odd stillness and quiet over the whole place. Um, roll me perception checks. I'd rather go to Completely oblivious, yeah. all of you except for Hybrid. Um, so, Hybrid, you notice a few things right off. The first is that um, you don't see the priest anywhere. He just... You see a couple of people milling about, and even with their milling about, the, the place is quieter than it should be. Um, but you don't see the guy that actually gave you the, the task of going and, and retrieving his nephew. So for a minute, you take a deep breath of relief. You're like, all right, well, we don't have to explain that right away. Yeah. And then, about the time you're thinking that, you notice something. The house that you guys came out of uh, a few, you know, a week ago or so, um, is completely devoid of color. Like, almost as if the whole thing is made out of shadow. Wait, which house? 
Uh, that would have been this one down here at the bottom of the map. Like, the we talking the gypsy shot. house, or are we talking the inn we were staying at? No, the, um, the weird house that you guys stumbled out of. <gasps> that house! house with the creepy the dolls! We before we got to the village. Yes. Okay, I am grabbing Mara's sleeve, and I am like, hey, hey, look! Look, 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 look! Holy shit. So if you could make a house out of out of shadows, that's what this house would look like at this point. Yeah, that, that, that house is full of no <laughs> So what are you guys up to? I also make mention that I haven't seen Mr. Scruffy Face. The, the, the priest person thing? Oh, you mean the guy that got us in all the trouble? Yeah. Yeah! Frankly, gonna be honest with you, prepare yourself, bad word is coming. Fuck that guy. Gasp. <gasps> my, my delicate sensibilities. <laughs> yes, it was on... I need okay. a priest! My ears need cleansing! <laughs> hey, Hextech. So... Hey, Hextech. Um, oh, oh, what did you miss? You missed oh, boy, the night to end all nights. Um, should I roll a perception on the house? Well, no, that's what we just did. Uh... Is it my turn or his turn? It could be your turn. All I gotta okay. say is... At the end of the night, if you have a little bit of extra time, or if not, tomorrow, go back, go back and watch the VOD to see what happens in the first hour and a half, because it's going to be some of the best stuff you've seen in a long time. Can I do an arcana roll on that house to kind of get more info about it? Sure. Ooh, nice roll. Um, so... When things shift planes, they tend to leave behind artifacts and remnants of themselves in, uh, in places. Um, especially if it's a large object or, or creature. Uh, and usually they're kind of ethereal and take on kind of the, the uh, elements of the plane that they may have been moved to. Um, if something were moved to, like, the negative plane... This is probably what you would expect to see. Okay. Is there a way to get to that point? Or is, is it just, like, that's just gone, that's just like a remnant, there's nothing left of it? It would take a great deal of magic to move a house that large uh, between planes. Gotcha. All right. Hey, well, we have somebody magic in our party. Oh, we wait. did. Thanks for bringing up the wound, fucker. <laughs> Just dump that salt right in. Just, just rub it in. <laughs> okay, well, I... Uh... I do, apparently. <laughs> I know. I have the spine to prove it. <laughs> At least he's not trying to shoot us anymore. It's true. So, For now. What should we do? Mm. Maybe we should ask the villagers if they know what, what happened to the house. There, random passerby, I can stop and ask what the hell's going on here. Yeah, um, <laughs> and they'll tell you that uh, a, a bit ago, maybe an hour before you got here, uh, this creature person thing um, stumbled into town. It was smoking and, and black and scarred and covered in soot and. Went inside, and, and a moment later, the house, well, this. Holy shit. Well, I think we found our missing party member. I don't know if that was the party member, or if it was the dude we were looking for. Either way, bad shit. Did he just ditch us like a prom date? You know what? We're better than that. 
Also, what's a pump? <laughs> okay. Okay, so where do you guys think we should go? I, the DM actually has an, an interjection and a way to get you on point. Yeah. And and everybody yeah. everybody is going to hate me for it, but it's what's oh, happening. Oh, God. Brace yourselves! I squid that you. There it goes. Sorry. Transportation! You, you ready for the part you're gonna hate? No. Bring it on! I'm seeing something bad. One year later. Aw, oh, son of a... <laughs> I told you. Mother fudge snacker! We do not have movie fucking fucking transitions in D&D. You do in this one. Oh, yes. okay. The reason the reason I'm doing it this way is the official stuff for Rage of Demons has come out, and I have it ah. set up for you guys to start on. So that's the re there is a a legit reason that I'm transferring you this way, and I hate doing yeah. it, but it it's kind of what has to be done. Honestly, I think that was a good way to kind of leave off with that last town because fuck that noise. Why can't I see your nameplate? There we go. Just think about the fact, everybody, that a house that we were originally in and never found out all the mysteries of... It looks like an X-Files episode in D&D. There's just not really an answer, but you know that the truth is out there. It's true. That's, that's yeah, the best except, way to look at it. Except in this one, they never found Mulder. Mulder being, you know, our missing party member. Sometimes Mulder hey. gets... As long as Mulder doesn't get replaced by the T-1000, I'm okay with it. You know what? <laughs> Fuck that guy. That's a very good point. Anyway. You guys have been adventuring for... Or trying to adventure for a year. Um, unfortunately, the pickings for jobs have been really, really scarce. Um... Along the way, you have, or actually not along the way, but recently you have heard of rumors of strange occurrences brought you to the town of Hillsfar, uh, or excuse me, the region of Hillsfar. The vague and bizarre rumors range from leprechauns showering travelers with gold to undead armies terrorizing many farmsteads. The, the one rumor that turned out to be true was perhaps the wildest of all. All the non-human citizens within the walls of the city-state of Hillsfar were evicted. The only non-humans left in the city are the slaves who fight in the arenas. And fights are to the death. Anyone not obviously human is turned away at the Hillsfar gate. And the only way into and out of the wall... Or, excuse me, turned away at the Hillsfar gate. The only way into and out of the walled city. You travel north on the Moonseed Ride... Moon sea ride the often used merchant road south of Hillsfar, which also navigates through expansive forests. Uh, the other characters traveling, there are others that travel with you. Ah, I can't sentence tonight. Okay, fine. The one of note that you guys are going to care about is the large uh, dragonkin. As you guys are traveling, a muffled shout bursts from a corpse of trees off the road and an old human man wearing bl torn and bloody clothes staggers into view. The blood on his clothes comes from small cuts and scratches rather than any large wound. He charges towards you slow, uh, ponderous, and shaky. Before you can even draw your weapons or ready spells, he collapses in the grass. He still shouts, however, although the words grow fainter and fainter with each passing moment. And I have a, a villager token somewhere, I'm sure. What does he shout? Or is he just we'll modulating go noises? Sorry, I did not hear what, uh, what Sunny said. I, I said, what did he shout? You will have to get closer. You 
his has gotten to the point where he's still repeating it, but you can't quite make it out from where you are. Um, no, you're not in combat. Just go ahead and go. Or actually, you know what? Yeah, go ahead and roll for initiative again. That's fine. Check is not working. Like, I gotta like go grab button. the button. Yeah, yeah just use no. the button on the character sheet. Yeah. Right above your, the heart in the center. We'll have to work on that. And remember, make sure you have your token selected. Also, pretend that um, that the token there is an old guy. Looks pretty old. <laughs> That's a pretty damn good looking old guy. He Dear is. Harry Potter. Alright, so we got HP Fox with Alyssa going first. What are you up to? I will approach him and see what he's mumbling about. Or okay. shouting about. Alright, so you get closer to him and he is he is mumbling. It's you have to get kind of close to make out anything coherent. Um and he repeats the, the sentences like, like a mantra almost. There is a message from this land's new master, but it is hidden fivefold. The first is at the place where the dandelions rise above and cover the people. The virulent can be, the vile and the virulent can be one and the same. Hell tinged one is lost and then several are found. The second runs red with the blood of roots, wherein an heiress lies and hides her pain in long wooden boxes. She hides more than that, though, but only to keep what is hers. The third is at the spring of blessed life, where the haunters protect and the protectors haunt. The water runs on, of course, and must be freed for all. The fourth holds the great thundering beast, but the beasts are gone to give way to a greater thundering beast with death in its eyes. They await at the place of ancient elven evil. The fifth lies where the ancients lie beneath night's marble, forgotten but not gone. The loss of wealth of a forgotten time pays terrible dividends now. And then he starts over. Oh my god, I hope you had a pen and paper. Yeah, I can copy and paste that for you guys if you need it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Probably good idea. And you guys in Twitch, if you want me to copy and paste that for you guys so you can read it a little bit better, I will be more than happy to do that. Just speak up. In fact, fuck it. Don't speak up. I'm doing it anyway. You're gonna get the story and you're gonna love it. Just remember, if you get the riddle, don't share it with us because we got to yep. figure it out. No spoilers, please. Read what we want you to read. Tough shit. I don't believe that this is actually going to have a basis to you guys. I did. Didn't show did up. That's not what it says. <laughs> did it not show up? It's too long. Okay. Yeah. Flood. Hang on. I'll try it in halves. You're being a little wordy there, GM. <laughs> did that work? Oh. No. No, it what tried to copy. Just, just do it I section can... by section. That, okay. that I, looks I got us. Yeah. I got us. All right, hang on. No, I, I, I 
No rest for the GM. No rest, I say. Also, just side note, I still have those creepy dolls and, and, <laughs> and... No, um, oh. Gaius's doll has, like, become, like, my little precious you don't get to touch. Okay. There you go. There's the message. Apparently, I, I type way too much for Twitch. <laughs> Twitch can't handle the sexy. Well, it showed up in chatty, so I was like, alright, well, it worked, but apparently not. Chatty's just like pulling a ten, and we've been fighting. Full of lies. Okay, uh, so HP Fox, you had you got the the information that the uh, the guy passed on. Is there anything else you want to do? Well, I'll definitely pass it along to the rest of the party. Okay, uh, that's that's all I'm gonna do right now. Okay. Uh, and for because I know that someone's going to want to think that it's helping out to solve that riddle, but this is more my invitation to you to take this ride with us, and by us figuring out any of this stuff, you get to enjoy all of it from our point. I don't... You get to, be, you get to watch us do stupid things when we goof and shoot each other in the spine with an arrow. It so, like that. knowing the answers to these I riddles, know, the example. No, knowing the answers to these riddles, the only way that they're going to get it is if they've read through this module. So, without Lost. without role playing, um, you guys are there's a way that you guys will be able to figure it out without any problem. But you know, from those words, um, they're not going to be able to put it together. Right. So that being said. Uh, Cindy, what is Mara doing? But first, I want to find out about the new guy. Okay. New guy. State your purpose. You talked about that. Good enough for me. Let's Midget move. Midget of ah. a person. Ah. Yeah. Not bad. Oh, I suppose I suppose Volt should describe his, his new character. Uh, so my new character is Gorgar. He is a dragonborn paladin. And just so you're aware of exactly who you're lipping, you apparently are too blind to realize that I'm sev over seven feet tall and 300 pounds and could crush you like a grape. What so color? What dragonborn? color dragonborn? Again. An absolute pitch black dragon. Yeah. So might I suggest you try your tone with me a different way. You do you, buddy. You do you. So what's your name? Mara. Very nice to meet you. I'm sure that where you're from, your people taught you manners. You would be best served to use them me. Rude. But no rude. Thank you. Alright. So let's investigate this guy. Okay. Should I do... I don't know what I'm going to check. Have a proficiency in insight? No, it's I'm wondering if maybe I could kind of figure out this dude more, like maybe what happened to him. Um, insight probably won't really work. That gives you kind of more motivations uh, to people's okay. actions. Um, you could try something like arcana or religion or medicine or something along those lines. All right. I was on that one for a minute. I know. I was like, "Holy <laughs> shit!" All right. So, um, something seems a little bit foul around him, but you're not really 
able to put your finger on why. Alright. Um, I guess, can I search him to kind of see if you've got anything on him to give us more info? Sure. Go ahead and roll me perception. So, um, you could tell that he's old, but he's not elderly. So he's, you know, he's still a capable individual. Um, he's an independent black woman and doesn't need no man. Um, <laughs> he's, he's injured, but you don't see any big injuries on him. Just a lot, a lot of scratches and, and kind of tears. Um, and he appears to be suffering, but you can't find any, like, source of the suffering. Um... And he just keeps rambling that same long uh, rant over and over until the point where the, the words are getting kind of burned into your your brain. Smack him! Snap him out of it! He's being creepy! Let's do that. I'm going to do a... Uh... Oh, a, um... <laughs> the one where you use your charisma... Um, Persuasion. There we go. Okay. And, and smack him across the face and be like, are, are you okay? Do you need help? He continues his rant. Alright. Why don't you try Hybrid, your turn. What are you up to? I'm. Uh, well, I still have some like those little health potions that I got off of Gaia, so I'm just going to like shove one down his throat, make him shut up for a moment, and see if I can't fix him. So the the potion spills out the sides of his mouth as he continues to talk, choking a little bit on the on the potion. Most of it going to waste. He's a young priest and an old priest. <laughs> do, do we put him out of his misery? I don't know. Is he miserable? He just seems kind of chatty. I don't know. I, don't, I mean, we could leave him here, but that seems kind of cool. What if he can't help it? Yeah, okay, you sound like you know that. This is... I'm say honestly we... just waiting, uh, waiting to see what the big lumbering beast over there does. Hey, big dude! What about you? What do we think we should do with this guy? Ask him, he'll eat him. Now yeah. you're asking instead of demanding. Okay, okay. Now we're no, getting something. Down the corner, I so take it you want me to take a peek at this guy. Is that what we're doing here? Eat a freak. Oh my God, Sarah. Uh, details. It is your turn. All right, I'm gonna come over here, and unlike the rest of them. I'm just going to get a real good look into this guy's eyes to try to tell if anyone's even at home or not in it. Or if this guy is just an absolute muttering husk. What do I need for that? A good old perception roll? Um. Sorry. <laughs> oh. Give me that one more time. I'm basically just going to grab this guy and look in his eyes and see if anyone's even home or if we basically just have a husk of a human just just basically someone broken and is on auto repeat. Anybody okay. home McFly? I, I want to see if if I even consider this thing a human at this point or if the record is skipped and needs to be put down. Fair enough. 
Uh, go ahead and roll me perception. Yep. Yeah. He's a he's a human. You uh, you don't think he's gonna stop anytime soon? <laughs> you know what? I'm not. You guys can debate this all you want, but we all know what needs to be done. So I highly suggest. It. Just anyway. Well, I mean, you can watch me do this or not. You got but I'm not sword. doing it. Either. I'm gonna go ahead and just put this guy down. Okay. We've, we've heard the guys. only thing we can say. Alright. And it, it's not hard for you to do. Uh, in fact, it's it's pretty... It's just kind of routine for you after after all the battles and, and the wars that you've been through. So you kind of put him down without batting an eye. You all knew that that had to happen, but none of you wanted to be the one to do it. And that's okay, I get it. But next time, let's not drag out his existence any more than it needs to. He was already happy. Yes. I'm not going to disagree with you. Now that that's covered, we all know what he had to say. What do you think any of it. <laughs> well, while, they, while they do that discussion, I want to kind of, since I'm much, much taller than any of them, I want to take a chance to kind of examine the rest of the area around us to see if I notice anything. Okay. Uh, roll me a perception. He's talking a lot about death. And it was some sort of riddle, but I don't know. Do you think it has anything to do with where we are? So, as far as um, as your perception goes, there you start to see um, what are basically like refugee tents. And Scofly, thank you for that follow, sir. We appreciate that. Hey. Hey. Um. There are refugee tents uh, set up around the outside of Hillsfar. Um, so you can see those kind of up on the crest of the hill ahead of you. Alright guys, well I'm not... Look, we can, we can discuss what that guy had to say because obviously it was important enough that it stuck with him during whatever happened to him. It wasn't pretty what had to be done, but would any of you want to be left in that situation? So, I see off in the distance, I, I see some campments set up over there, and I, I gotta tell you, I've looked around here, and I don't see a heck of a lot of note, so maybe we should, maybe we should venture on that way, Let, let's go see if we can run into some others, and maybe... Maybe get an idea if any of them knew this guy or knew what he was talking about. I guess lead on. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, so you guys make your way through uh, the rest of the path and up the hill to the uh, this what has essentially become this refugee encampment outside the walls of Hillsfar. Um, a lot of the people that you notice are... Uh, are starving, are worse for wear. Um, you, you, your guess looking through them is that they have been kicked out of their homes. Um, you talk to some of them and that kind of confirms your, your suspicions. Um, and you see a, a group of uh, armored individuals walking through the camps. Uh, all of them have these red ridiculous like plumes on their helmets uh, and after talking to a couple of the refugees you find out that these uh, are essentially the enforcement uh, for the city and they are uh, they have been the ones that have been evicting people out of their homes uh, but it's all perfectly legal at the uh, orders of the new I believe it was king uh, of, of Hillsfar 
This is Black a. Quad. <laughs> it is a um, a law that was in effect for a lot, or was on the books for a long time, but it was not enforced uh, until the last king died. This new king has decided to actually begin enforcing it. Um, is there anything that you guys want to ask of the refugees? Notice any strange goings on, or about you know, um, strange deaths other than obviously the family. Um, he says that uh, hasn't been anything really odd. We've been a little too concerned with you know our our own survival and how we're going to survive or how we're going to live with our homes and our, our belongings taking away from us. Uh, let's do it this way. So that was Cindy's question. We'll just kind of go in order so I have something to keep up with. Uh, hybrid, what are you, are there anything in particular you want to ask anybody? Maybe if any of these guys knew about the strange man that we found, I'd describe what he looked like, what he was muttering, and if anybody knew his name. <laughs> uh, how are you describing what he was muttering? You're gonna make me think. That's not fair. Yep. I kind of give the gist of what he said. Something about uh, dandelions on a hill, and you know, uh, some other crazy mumbo jumbo that sounded like he was possessed. Okay. Um. Roll me an uh, insight check. And I do have proficiency in this. Okay. Um, so the the person that you're there with reads through like dandelions. Like that it's weird. We don't those don't grow out here. Um, I'm not I have no idea what this what this might mean. Um, Volt, what are you, are you talking to anybody? Just kind of give them a lay of the land and try to find someone and ask them if they, if they've heard of anyone called the hell tinge one. And you get kind of a, yeah, no, why, why would I want to know anything about that? That sounds like that is none of my goddamn business. I would stay as far away from that as I possibly could. That sounds unhealthy. Just kind of going to look around and try to figure out exactly, you know, ask what what caused all this? Why did everyone get booted out? Other than, you know, how long did this take? Because obviously these are encampments that have been set up there. Hang on. So they they tell you that the law uh, that only human citizens are allowed in Hillsfar has been on the books since since ages ago. It was just never enforced. Uh, the the previous uh, ruler didn't um god damn it I'm, I'm losing words here didn't enforce the law um so th we were allowed to to have our homes in the city to raise our families and our children um now the laws in the government have have changed with the death of the last ruler and the laws once again being enforced the only non-humans allowed into Hillsfar now are those that are slaves to fight into the arena 
And while this here may be death, fighting in the arena is is absolute death. We still have a fighting chance to survive out here, even though our belongings and our ho homes are no longer with us. On the way over here, notice kind of other than this crazy muttering guy that we ran into. Through that field, there's like this big tear in the ground near the road. Does anyone know anything about that? Have you the, seen this? The GM will say that that is not relevant to the plot and that just happens to be there on the it's, map that I have. Just, okay, these are just artwork things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like, that, that looks like a thing. It does. It, it does look a lot like a thing. But yeah, it's just uh, it just happens to be the map. Ladies and gentlemen, the booming voice of the DM That's right. telling you... <laughs> this is no not attention. the hole you are looking for. Okay, That's so... You. Nothing to see here. Move along. <laughs> uh, so apparently the guy that I'm talking to is the artist that took some really big liberties with the road. And he's just going to Jedi mind trick me and we're going... I'm going to forget that I even asked him that question. Yep. And instead, I'm going to add what, what. So, how did the previous ruler pass? Was it. Did, did someone murder him? Was it a tumor? It's not a tumor. It's lupus! Did he have lupus? It's never lupus. <laughs> I'm looking here. Oh it my god, Gora Gora, you can't just ask why people died! God. You can't kill people, Carl, that kills them. Carl? Um, I don't have any, uh... I'm going to say he passed away in his sleep. Peacefully at the ripe old age of 73. I'm just going to kind of take in the camp and let everyone else kind of get an idea of what's going on. I'm just going to okay. view the overlay of things. Alright, uh, HP Fox, what are you up to, sir? The land's new master. I would like to find out any and all information I can about who or what this person is. Okay. Are you you're asking around in the refugee camps? Yes. All right, go ahead and roll me a um, stealth check. And I am efficient. In Boom! Volier. All right. Oof. Very nice. So you are <laughs> as you are. As you are asking these, possibly uh, asking these questions that could possibly very much get you into trouble with the uh, the guard, you are able to dodge them. You know, keep your voice low when they're around, and uh, and keep out of their their line of sight. Um, uh, base at the moment, they are trying to find out some information about a riddle uh, that they ended up with. Um, as far as the new ruler, he's uh, there's been some tension between Hills uh, Far and the Elves of the Woods, and so they are uh, there's been some rampant xenophobia that seems to uh, seems to have run into the the uh, the ruler, and because of this, he has kicked everyone that is not a human uh, out of the city. Which is why we are here in these refugee camps. Um, as far as to how he came into power or anything, um, there didn't seem to be anything suspicious in his rise. He was always kind of xenophobic against the elves, uh, mainly because of the the tensions between Hillsfar and the elves. Um, but this is just everyone mostly agrees, or at least most of the non-humans agree, that this is taking it a step too far. So a racist is in power. That always goes well. You halflings count? Like, we're halflings. Fuck halflings. Halflings don't exist. 
I hate halflings. I, I, I mean, I mean. That is, that is the DM perspective. Halflings are good for, <laughs> for getting kicked. Is about all they're really good for. <laughs> but anyway, they make great door stuff. They do. You put them in armor and you can play kick the can. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much the gist of what you get after talking to a couple of different of the uh, refugees. But really, do, do half elves count as the people he hates as well? Sure, we're abomination. But yes. This, this guy's definitely feeling like a human power kind of guy. Yeah, if you're if you're not a human, then then you're not human, pretty much. Okay. He, he doesn't tolerate half breeds either. I'd say he's goose steppy, but he's a little goose steppy. <laughs> a little bit. Um. All right, so that was HP Fox. So Cine, is there anything else you want to ask any of the refugees? Which way to this imbecile's castle? Well, the the refugee camps are outside the wall of the of the uh, region, so it, they could kind of point like right there. Uh, okay, <laughs> my bad. Okay, here's a question. Like you see that um, big wall? Just the other <laughs> side of it. Well, you know. I'm Give sorry, her I'm new checks. It was probably a good question. <laughs> you may want her to roll to see if she knows uh, that wall there. Um, God, what was my... Oh, do they know any secret entrances into the city? Or know someone who might? Roll me a stealth check. So you apparently say that a little too loud at the wrong time, and the the guards take notice of you. Uh, you are able to duck in between some of the the um, tents and and some of the piles of of scavenge that the refugees have and lose them, uh, but you're not not able to get an answer out of uh, whoever you were questioning. Well, that's about it for me. All right, uh, hybrid. Anything you want to ask anybody? I'm just in shock and dismay at like the the clear racism going on in here. Um, but since I'm not too bright on the uptake, God, I hate being in character when I know better. <laughs> I go up and I ask one of the guards, like, what's going on? You're a half Why you right? beat a bunch of dicks? We are... I learned that word from Cinny. <laughs> <laughs> she says, we are here, or the, the guard rather says, we are here to ensure that none of the non-humans, and you can hear the disdain, like, thick in his voice when he says it, uh, remain in their place. I just shoot him this glowering stare like I am going to kill you in your sleep and walk off like you are a rude son of a bitch I've been hanging around with this group too long <laughs> alright Volt, what are you up to? first I'm going to be completely astounded that she didn't stand she didn't just start a big old fight in the middle with my new masterwork sword sword, I probably should have. <laughs> I'm gonna take a peek around, look and see if there's anything else in the camp worth noting, or in the general area, considering I can see over the tops of tents and everything. All right. Um, give me a perception check. Not with that, you can't. I That's see the sky. Voice. Mm, what a good dog. So I am. This is a major camp. There's a lot of guards around. So there are. The GM be like, please don't attack the guard. Yeah, at that point, the DM goes, all right, so you get this whisper at the back of your neck. <laughs> Make sure non existent hair stand on end. It says, that's a dumb fucking idea. 
It's a great idea. Let's go. Like, well, let's let's see how how level one characters fare against an army of you know trained guards. I'm sure that'll work Shitting out fine. I'm gonna extend my weapon and spin around for a while and everyone <laughs> should die. So, I think we should try to figure out more about what these dandelions mean. Cause are they actual flowers? Do, can I find anyone that actually knows where dandelions or other flowers of that kind are growing in mass? How are you phrasing the question? Uh, I'm asking, has, does anyone know where there are a bunch of dandelions that would cover people? Is there like, I don't know, is there a graveyard around here somewhere where a bunch of flowers grow? Roll me uh, insight. Insight. God damn your rolls. <laughs> I want to help, <laughs> but I can't with those rolls. Um, there, there's a graveyard around, but it's it's mostly weeds and grass. Nobody really tends to it. It it there's no flowers, that's for sure. There's, there's some old guy. I don't know why he's an old guy, but he is who you're talking to at the moment. He's old now. He is. He's just like yeah, there's. There's, nobody really tends to it. It's really a shame. It's it's just dead grass at this point. I'm gonna have to kind of, I'll pass that information along to everybody else. See if they can kind of glean more from this guy. And I'm apparently going to stare at the sky for a little bit. HP <laughs> Fox, what do you have to? I am going to ask in which direction the graveyard is. You asking the same guy? Yes. Alright. Um Well, the only the only one that I know of right off is it, it's it's on the other side of that wall. And I, I don't I don't think you're getting there right right now. We'll see about that. He don't know us very well, do he? Anything else? Is there like any obvious way through the wall? Like, is there just a door right there with some guards or anything? There, there is a big old gate with a uh, uh, quite a few guards by it. I'm going to. I'm going to do what somebody failed to do earlier and try and ask around about any sort of secret entrance or, or secret way beyond the wall. All right, go ahead and roll me a uh, stealth check. So you are able to ask I around. Am in that. Yeah, uh, you're able to ask around to a few people. Uh, but nobody really tends to know they're they're I mean because really the people that you're asking these refugees are like farmers and maybe the occasional merchant none of them really subterfuge and uh, and stealth on secret passages is far too cloak and dagger for them I have something else in mind but it would probably end very poorly for me, so it's going to be a last resort. <laughs> Fair enough. I'll just call that the end of my turn. Alright. Sydney, what's Mara doing? I want to... I'm going to sidle up to one of the guards that's kind of standing on his own on one side, and I want to whisper to him that I have a good 50 gold pieces in his name if he would find a way for me and my friends to get inside. I'm gonna roll a persuasion check. Go for it. Yes. Oh dear God. Going very well. 
He looks you up and down and just outright laughs in your face. He's like, ah, no. Okay, I'm gonna sulk back to my party then. Alright. Hybrid? Did we ever get that rope back? I have some if we didn't. Um, no, I don't think you did. Mother fudge knacker! That was my rope! Oh, hey, I told you you could grab it when we were done. I told you. <laughs> One year later, she's freaking out about her rope. Right. <laughs> Autism at its best! Like, wait a minute, I had a rope at one point. I'm a pet. I blame you. Okay, okay, so that's out of the question. Never mind. Okay. Uh, I have a rope. You could borrow it. And I mean, borrow it. <laughs> I say we get one of those guards off by himself, tie him up, and drill him for information. I thought you were gonna stop it, Okay. Brown chicken, <laughs> brown cow? <laughs> Death by snoo snoo. <laughs> well, hey, I've got different methods we can use, okay? That, 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 that's a last resort, preferably. <laughs> methods like you used on that stable boy? Oh, hey, yeah. he paid well, shut your face. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh. Is there anything else you wanted to do? Deal. Anything else you want to do, Hybrid? Pick a random guard. She's all in. She's committed. <laughs> do you feel who wants to die at this door? <laughs>